kidding me? When are we gonna see you next? Soon. What do you gotta say? Hopefully soon. It's for real. This guy's Ciao, not early, boys. dude. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, just keep in touch. Ready now. Whatever, whatever big moves we're doing. Whatever big moves we're doing. You know what I'm saying? I'll see you in a couple weeks, hopefully. Safe travels, G. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Boys and girls, that was a heavy one. T. Capicoli, T. Capicolski, T. Rex, T. Marathon, T. Slap, T. Pax, T. Rax, T. Claps, you name it. This guy's got a nickname for it. I cannot even express in words how much of a legend this dude is. We've literally been traveling together for five or six months. You just saw him walk away with just a board bag and a small carry-on suitcase. And the kid has been traveling the globe for almost half of a year. So we all need to take some notes on that. Nobody packs lighter. And he even was claiming on the way here that he still brought too much stuff. But seriously, if you guys have enjoyed watching any of the videos over the past six months, TCAP has had a huge part in making all of that possible and helping in so many ways, not just for filming. He actually got way better at riding, but just adding such a legendary character to the vlog and helping in dozens and dozens of ways, whether it was filming or organizing or cleaning or driving, all of the places that we went, he literally brought us to. So while we're editing or while we're doing something on the road, this man was T-capped and hatting the whole way and I just gotta send so much love and so much stoke to him. If you guys aren't already, Go hook the boy up with a follow on the gram, TCAP10. I'm saying he's probably at 15 hundo right now. Let's get my mans up there. Man deserves 10K. Everybody deserves 10K. But TCAP, he at least deserves 2K. We'll call him 2CAP. We'll get him 2K today. Well, here we go. Good morning. It is 5'11 right now. It's pretty heavy. And I'm going home. We're back in Tahoe, by the way. I don't know. We didn't make a video coming up here, but good morning. Let's do this. You're kidding. <laughs> this guy's still going.
guys, so as you know, we're back in Tahoe and I've gotten a couple dozen orders since we left the house and sometimes you forget or I forget or you get just a reawakening of gratitude and I'm just realizing how crazy it is that I even have people making orders, supporting me, buying merch, even though I don't have the most stuff up on my big cartel. It's crazy to just have any support from you guys. Even just the comments and the likes and the shares on videos, dropping thumbs up, it means so much and it helps me out while we're trying to continue this dream that I'm so abnormally grateful for right now. Maybe it's just because I'm back in Tahoe and there's basically nobody at my house and TCAP left and the vibes are kinda crazy. We're just a little extra grateful today and we're gonna give a bunch of shout outs before we go to the post office. We are starting off with Matthew Nori. Tom Carter, Wayne McKenzie, Chris Bauhan, John Carpenter, Tyler Thompson, Charles Smith, Alex Anderson, Chase York, Cody Brown, Kyle Sylvia, Rick Vigiani, Cheyenne Fontauzi, Sullivan O'Brien, Kevin Ma, and Madison Dijon. Those are the sticker orders. And then we got Jim Bao, Grant Donovan, Andrew Blackburn, Christopher Singleton, Zeech DeGrazia, Riley Gilligwater, Tyler Hugan, Cody Eim, and Alex Bow. I feel like I might have repeated some orders, but thank you guys so much. We're going to the post office. It's only 8.20. Yesterday we took care of so much stuff. We dropped TCAP off at Reno. You hate to see it. I organized my room. I did laundry. I got all the orders ready to be shipped out. I took a shower, which was crazy, and I think we got a gift from a homie that's gonna allow us to see if there's any more snow in this area that we might be able to shred today. So let's do this. Thank you all. So much love. All right, we got a bunch of mail right now, but we're looking for one thing specific that will make this day a lot easier. This is from a legend who hit me up, heard that I was having issues finding propellers for my drone. And bada boom, bada bang. You love to see it. DJI Mavic 2 Stealth Upgrade Propellers. It doesn't say his actual name, but on YouTube I know it's T World TV. I had the screenshot saved, but my photos are crazy. But brother, thank you so much. Next we got D. Roby? Miracle Turmeric? What? Two of them. Are you kidding me right now? Dave Sherwin. Phenomenal functional supplements. D. Roby. Just coming through with what looks like a super high quality turmeric supplement. Wow, for the absolute dream. I cannot even thank you enough. It really just ran out too. We got Ryan Van Hecken. It's a fresh hoodie. <laughs> You're kidding. We got a crew neck. Bruh. <laughs> Where's Daly? It's actually more because of that face of a bruh. <laughs> bruh. Yo. <laughs> Ryan Van Hecken. Thank you so much, dog. All right, Hans Rosenfeld. <laughs> Wait, what's happening? We got boobies, boobies, booby wax. Get it? Is this snowboard wax? What's up, Casey? In the interest of cheering you and the boys up, here's some Alpine booby wax. I've yet to see anyone not smile at them. The pasty pear is a universal blend, but works best at mid-range temps, 14 to 25 degrees Fahrenheit, and the tan tatas are for warm days, 25 Fahrenheit plus. Then I tossed in some extra race wax, speedy sports bra, so the crew can easily keep up. <laughs> They're not gonna make any claims about the crew keeping up. <laughs> Working on skate and surf wax as well. Hopefully all this will blow over soon and we could shred together next winter. Cheers, Hans Rosenfeld, board through the pain. You'll love to see it with the John Hancock right at the bottom. Dude, you're just making wax shaped into tatas and booties? This is incredible. Are we joking right now? Look at this. This is the dream. Oh my gosh. We'd be flying through wax. 
All right, we're flying through these packs too. We got one more right here that is addressed to that guy, me being that guy, with no return address. This is gnarly, but I'm pretty sure I know what this is, and I want to make a different video out of this entire scenario. So, thank all of you guys for all of this stuff. You guys are amazing. Random little Christmas action in the middle of the summer, but we are going to throw the new propellers on this drone, head into the backcountry, bring the gear just because even if there's the smallest amount of snow at this point in time, the current state of the world, and with the current state being that it's almost summer and we're in Tahoe and there was not a deep winter this year at all, it will just be legendary in any and all forms to get any amount of time riding on a snowboard at this point, let alone building a feature or hitting something. So we're going to go check this out. Thank you guys once again for this stuff. Thank you so much, homie, for the props. Let's throw these things on and let's get out there. not expect there to be any snow up there and compared to the last time I was here there's probably a tenth of the coverage but there, there is so much snow we're up there and the last time I snowboarded was at Baldy and we went to Mexico right after that if you guys remember I got pulled over license plate was falling off of the Narv and the only thing that I had that was duplicating a string in that moment was my snowboard boot lace so I literally took it off and right now my left snowboard boot lace is currently holding up the license plate of the Narvi back at my house. And I realized that in an empty van trying to gear up. <laughs> so we literally have no excuses. If you're trying to get on it, you gotta get on it. We rigged up a USB cord and she's holding due. I only nodded it once, but here we go. Lake Tahoe, May 28th, I think. Your boy is on the hunt. <laughs> huh. Too easy. Woo! Solid 12 foot drop with a foot gap away from this rock here. If there was ever a time to be careful and not out here by yourself. That's the back three drop off. Oh. That's the front flip off the cornice. This is the big old tail grab. And this is what's left. I, like a complete novice, forgot to bring a shovel or I was just overstoking. And we're just going to have to work with what we got. Let's do this.
right, boys and girls. Can we tell the difference between that backside indie and the one you're about to watch right now? I am way too picky. All right, folks at home. I can't believe I just rode my snowboard. <laughs> like what right now? This is insane. I want to say a couple things before we shut this down for the day. One, the reason I kept it so mellow was because I had two crazy close calls there. Of course, I haven't snowboarded in a month and I get right to throwing cab one switch 180 off of the top of this cornice and I land, start getting bucked sideways and I'm going backwards towards the rocks. Thankfully, I had my helmet on and everything but I stopped like just in time. My body kind of hit the dirt area and that was insane. So decided we're gonna stick to the grabs. Just do some big fun pokey indies. And sure enough, I launched too far to the left and I landed in this bomb hole of a rock and my nose went under the snow and I had to tomahawk out of it. And yeah, I'm just calling it quits for today. Calling it a W for sure, but. Wow. I'm getting annihilated. Couple things you want to take home is you want to always make sure somebody knows where you're riding, always wear the proper safety gear, and just kind of ride within your limits. Push a little bit, but don't try to be out here learning new tricks, getting all crazy like your boy. But uh, other than that, this is the dream Lake Tahoe snowboarding. I'm obviously going to be back up here tomorrow, drop some comments. What do you guys want to see? We don't really have much to work with, but whether it's some tricks or some fun, unique things that you guys can think of. Don't forget, first of all, go follow your boy TCAP10 right here at TCAP10. The man's has been a legend since day one. TCAP, we love you. Number two is I dropped a new video yesterday on a second YouTube page that I started. It's just called Casey Willax Overstoking. And it's just the extras, it's behind the scenes. It's gonna be a bunch of stuff about my morning routine, a lot of workout regimens, my eating plan, cooking foods, recipes, all that kind of stuff, bulletproof coffee, what is in the beverages, all the type of things that I wanna make videos for but I don't really wanna put them on my channel here because this is more of a pure entertainment and stoke and shred channel and so my secondary channel is gonna be kinda of dope because I'll be able to reach out to a lot more of the topics that you guys always ask me about. So I'll leave the link to that below, Casey Willax Overstoking, second YouTube channel and the last thing I wanna say before I shut this thing down is you don't have to do any of the things that I said. You don't ever have to do anything that anybody says, but means a lot to me. And I appreciate all of the support and all the stoke. And we're shutting this thing down. It's actually not over for your boy. I hiked all the way up here. And now I gotta get out. <laughs> back in, back out! about this.